A few years ago, our very own Denise Koch introduced us to one local man who gained thousands of social media followers for knitting landmarks from around the world. So, Andy Rose Ramos checks in with Baltimore Sweater Guy to see how he got through the pandemic. It'll come as no surprise to as many fans. We found Sam Barsky hard at work knitting a new sweater. People see how I switch colors. This Baltimorean with over 60,000 social media followers is famous for his sweaters. I knit sweaters either of landmarks or nature scenery or just about anything you can think of. And then I like to pose for pictures in front of what's on the sweater. Paris, Egypt, even Stonehenge. I do get a lot of joy from it. But the pandemic put a stop to it all. No more travel and no more sweaters. That all ground to a halt. So Sam and his wife decided to rediscover Maryland. And I got the idea, why don't I spend the next year making sweaters of local landmarks. Each sweater true to each treasured landmark, like the Inner Harbor skyline and M&T Bank Stadium. That's where my home team, the Ravens, play. Many ask, can he make them one to buy? And the answer is, I really can't because it takes me a month to make one, so I can't become a human sweater mill. And besides, it's not sweater weather, but Sam found a solution. T-shirts with the image of them printed that in such a way that it looks like it's the sweater. T-shirt sweaters available now, just in time for summer. This is the T-shirt of the birthday sweater. Annie Rose Ramos reporting for WJZ.